So what is it like on a Sunday? You say it's, it's quite nerve-wracking down there. What's it like for you, Christopher? Because we were there the, the Sunday before we, we came down because we, we had to interview Rihanna who was playing and, and I was speaking to a few, few boys from Union J and they were saying that they were it's, it's really tense on a Sunday and I could kind of feel it. Like in the air, I could feel that tenseness. Yeah, um, it doesn't get any easier as the, you know, I was the wild card. I mean, you can't get any tense than that. And mm. then every Sunday from then on, it just gets harder. And get harder, and it's just all the emotions, and everyone's worried about going home, and it's just yeah, it's 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 it's, it's Sundays are not a, a very good a very good time in the X. What do you what do you do? Because I imagine telly, you always have to be there in, incredibly early, like too too early. We get there about seven in the morning on a on, why? Yeah. We have to go, like, we have to do hair, makeup, costume, run through our songs, uh -huh. and, yeah, there's loads to do Lots throughout to do. the day. Yeah. So by, like, eight, I bet you're knackered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't get out of the studio till about 12, but wow. we've been there from 7 in the morning, so we've been there, like, for, like, 16, 17 hours. Cool yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a real relaxing <laughs> Sunday, actually. And what is it like with the other, with the other contestants in there? Because, obviously, you're, you're friends, and, you, and you've gone on this journey together, but at the end of the day, you are your competition. Yeah, but, you know, it's not... It's, this, I mean, this, this competition, even though it's a competition, it's not being like that backstage. There's, no, there's, not been, um, there's not been any sort of competition. We've all been, like, willing each other to do well. Yeah, yeah. and you all seem, like, genuinely sad when, some, when someone leaves. We are, yeah. It's, 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 um, it's, it's bittersweet because you, you either stay in or you go home, and for me, it's been bittersweet, and I want to be happy, but I can't be happy because, you know, the, 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 the act has just gone home that, that you're yeah. friends with. So. And you don't want to overreact too much, like, yes! No. Another loser's gone out of my way! Oh, I do. <laughs> I react. <laughs> just, just how I react every week, that is. Yeah. Is there a proper competition between the judges? Yeah, oh, it's proper. Is it actual oh, real life? It is proper. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I, I think what everyone always needs to remember is, you know, everyone goes, yeah, we're looking for a star. We're looking for... No, no, we're competing, all right? Yeah, we, we want to win. And we all want to win. It's a game show, you know, at this point. So, um, no, it's great. It really is. Yeah. Because yeah. it is terrifying. Like, you forget that, you know, you do get a, a lot of criticism from the judges and from the public, not just you, but everybody gets that on that show. And you forget that a couple of weeks ago, you remember the public and you're, you're thrust onto the biggest TV show and you're, you know, one of 12 of the famous people, most famous people in the country. Yeah. How have you found all that, like, pressure from, like, Twitter and the papers and all that attention? Is it, has it been insane or does it feel normal yet? Well, I mean, Gary, give me great, really great advice. You know, don't you know, read the papers, you know, or, or while you're in the competition, don't go on Twitter and stuff. Um, I did take his, his advice, but it's, ve it's very hard to, to, to be... Um, to be, ga to be sh ga what's the way I'm trying to think of the words? To be guarded or whatever, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you still hear it about it, your family get him, you know, and it's, it's hard, it's hard. I mean, especially when you, you, you know, you, 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 you know someone that's a no one. Yeah. That's just being thrust into the limelight like, like this and, you know, how to deal with it and the negative press and the lies and, you know, the negative, negative comments, it's hard to deal with. But I'm more, it's more, I'm more worried about my family. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't want them to be upset or hurt, and it's it's you know I, I can deal with. I, hopefully, I can deal with it. It's made me a stronger person. Yeah. I didn't think that I was this strong, and it really has made me. And a then, what about person. the other side of it, like the fans? How's it had people like screaming, Christopher Maloney? It's I love weird. You. Do you know what? It's weird. I mean, I'm still in in a dream world. I'm still like, on cloud nine. I still can't believe that I'm actually on the X Factor. It's been my dream come true. You know, I've always dreamed about being on there. I've watched it for eight years. It took me five years to pluck up the courage to you know to audition, and the ninth year I'm actually on there and. It's my dream, you know, that's yeah. all I've ever... All I want to do is sing, and this has given me the opportunity to do it, and it's just been amazing. And in the final, no less. Ah! <laughs> I'm, a, I'm going to enter next year. Are you? Yeah. yeah. As, a, as a vocalist? Yeah. Right, I, could you sing? I have the worst voice, but I thought between now and when do you audition? It sounds perfect. Like me? That's... I thought... <laughs> most of the auditions of people who can't sing. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could do it. I thought I could learn to sing and then do it. Well, this Because surely pop star's the best job, Gary. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's the best job, Ab isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, it really is. Yeah, there's no question. I've done it for quite a while, and it's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I want to do it. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, we could do a Go little duet. It. Anyone? Go for it. You're up for it. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 If you win, we'll do a duet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If not, I'll take someone think, else on the show. <laughs> I think he's just saying that because he's on your show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. You get that a lot, actually. Um, and one thing I wanted to talk to you about as well, I saw on, on Saturday night, an avid fan of X-Factor, which is probably the only TV show that I watch, actually, religiously, is X-Factor. I love it. Um, and I saw on, on Saturday you did, a, you did a more modern song. All for the last few weeks, you've been doing stuff from the, from the 80s, and everyone's been like, do some young. Um, and you did Michael Bublé. Yeah. It's a recent record. What are we going to have on the final? 
I want like Azealia Banks or Skrillex. Oh, or something. I mean, Dem oh, um, right. was talking about a, a duet with them. Um, what's the name? Like Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to go really in there. Do it. Get like some body popping with Will I Am. <laughs> we thought maybe this could be good. <laughs> this could be a nice one to do. Oh, yeah, that's, this Did is it, Sunday night. This is, yeah, Sunday, Sunday yeah. <laughs> First single. <laughs> this could be really nice, I think. Yeah, a little bit of a rap in there. Isn't yeah, it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think this could be good. So this is the, the, the song you're definitely going to do on the final, Christopher Maloney. <laughs> Shout out to Maloney. You could do it on Saturday.